Hey everyone, this is uh, Adam and Tomáš from the Czech Premodern um, community. Uh, we are here today to play another spicy matchup. Uh, we are going to play Grotok against uh, Tomáš. What are you playing? What are yes, you bringing? Uh, hello and welcome. Yes, against my uh, beloved Enchantress. Uh, we we even commented uh, one game of Enchantress in the championship. Oh, and, right, right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think I said that uh, Argothin Enchantress was one of my first crushes. So, <laughs> I w And since we didn't have enough of the gameplay, we are trying to catch up now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, we're going to get to Tomáš deck in a, in a minute. Uh, to briefly introduce the deck that I'm playing today, it's a uh, five color Grotog. The key card here is Quirin Dread. That's the 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 grow aspect of the deck because you make it bigger. A uh, bunch of blue cantrips, some permission in the form of foil, counter spell, and days. One Shadow Mage Infiltrator, which I believe is the sixty first card in the deck. That's that's. Um, you know, you can ask Ondra in the comments, you know, who, who, what, what's the reasoning behind that. But apart from that, it's a pretty standard Grotog deck, which tries trying to uh, draw a bunch of cards and then kill the opponent with an overgrown Kirin Dryad or Psychotog. You know, it's, it's pretty standard. For the, for the Enchantress matchup, by the way, my sideboard has Disenchant, mostly for uh, Enchantress Presence. And then Pyroclasm and Engineered Plague as a way to remove the Argothian Enchantress, which has Shroud. So this is a, how you can get around it. So, what, uh, Tomáš, what are you bringing? Yeah, so, so, my version of Enchantress is slightly different than what we, what we are used to seeing in a Primordial. Uh, it's it's green-blue, mm -hmm. right? It's quite mm -hmm. unusual because what's typical for Enchantress you enchant land, you play enchantress, another enchantress, and then you play something like solitary confinement, mm -hmm. preferably Sterling Grove, that everything is uh, untargetable, and you are safe. You know, that's kind of, you know, some people like to play uh, decks like that. <laughs> uh, I'm one of them, but I, I like, what I like about this version of enchantress, it, it really plays blue. Uh, the good thing is that your mana base is very, very safe. You only play green and blue cards in the main deck. I have just some white splash for sorts of plowshares and replenish in the sideboard. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about this this version, you can win turn three. Okay. Which is something you okay. would not expect in Enchantress. Uh -huh. Basically, the the, the, the the ideal hand is turn one forest wild growth, turn two Argothian Enchantress, another wild growth, draw a card. And since turn three, you play Laxtera Sanctum, uh, another Argothian Enchantress. Uh, and then you can start untapping your lands. You play four uh, Frantic Search mm -hmm. and F Cloud of Fairies. And the combo card, if we can call it like that, is Words of Wind here, mm -hmm. which is uh, one from the word cycle. Mostly we've seen Words of War mm -hmm. in, in Enchantress yeah, deck that you do too. But here, for one uh, colorless, both players return permanent in their hand okay so uh, this this version basically bounces all opponents uh, permanents in in hand so they can't do anything mm -hmm. and you just develop your board and so then... what you're bouncing on your side is you're bouncing cloud of fairies to untap your land yes, or, yes but or... You, usually you want to have like two uh, you, you if you have two two enchantress effects mm -hmm. you bounce cloud of fairies and enchantment and then play oh, enchantment okay, okay. and bounce another enchantment that costs one and cloud of fairies so that's how you can make infinite mana. Mm -hmm. You can draw all your deck, play all enchantments, mm -hmm. and then uh, play a Living Wish for Yavimaya Enchantress. That's, oh, okay, that's, okay. That's our killer here. The one that gets plus one, plus one for each other enchantment. Exactly. So you will you will pass the turn with like 25, 25 Yavimaya <laughs> Enchantress with your opponent having no, nothing, uh -huh. in, nothing in play. And if they even have a land and sorts the plowshares, you have multiple ways how to draw a card uh, how to draw cards instantly. Mm -hmm. So with Words of Wind, you can bounce you have a Mayan Chandra in your hand mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. repeat the process again. Okay, okay. I, li I like the fact that Living Wish gives you access to more Argotian Enchantresses and also the Cloud of Fairies as the combo piece. And, and actually also Sarah Sanctum, which is also... It's like it, it really hits all the key pieces. You might think that enchantments are the key pieces mm. but like, apparently it's it's the uh, creatures and lands. true is that sometimes with uh, with living wish you would like to have enchantments you would like to yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, unfortunately that's that's not possible i used to yeah. play verduran enchantress in the sideboard and uh -huh. for argothian in main but that was just too bad <laughs> so you let's... Know, nowadays you could have enchantment creatures that you could search for with living yes. wish but you know yes. back then and some of them have even old frame 
Yeah, okay, sure, like sure. Like Course sure. of Rupix, I already yeah, have a little yeah, frame, yeah. but that doesn't count. Uh, so we don't play with cards like that in Pre-Modern. Of course yeah. not. <laughs> we play with Lantex. Yeah. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, so we're here with game one of Grotek against Enchantress. I would really uh, like to start. No. Oh, well, maybe game two. So uh, I'm going to go first. Let's see how it goes. Oh, sure. Sure, yeah, okay. yeah that, that looks all right. So I'm going to um, pay one to fetch an island. And... I'm gonna play a cantrip, mm -hmm. which this deck often does. Like ideally, you want turn one um, and the uh, Quirin Dread, but you know you can't always have everything. I'm gonna go for Slate of Hand instead. You somehow can't help it and play just decks with most time limits. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be honest, I think the deck, the the card is really good for the format and. Um, like it just enables a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. not necessarily just broken stuff, just I, stuff in general. I agree. Yep. I agree. Uh, it's all, it's uh, it's uh, with the thing that we were when we were talking about banning uh, land text. Uh, I don't. People say ban Mox Diamond. You mm. play. My turn. Yes. Uh, some people say uh, ban uh, Mox Diamond because it's mm -hmm. like more expensive, less accessible. Yeah. But I think the card is fair. It, it's a big disadvantage discarding. Yeah, land. yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So, I have no problem with it. And okay, interesting. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with this one. This one goes to the bottom. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the turn. Mm. Try to enchant land. Oh, um, I think I have to daze. Right? Yes, I mean, how good are you going to <laughs> yeah. daze? If I don't daze, I was hoping for, like, you could see I was hoping for a different target for the daze, yes. but, like, what what can I do, right? But I know you play daze, and yeah. whether I have it or not, I was, uh, <laughs> this was calculated. Okay, okay, so I'm going to go Island, Mugus Diamond, and play the namesake. Well, it's not mm. a namesake card. Is it the namesake card? Does it yes. count? Yes. This there's no the there's no Korean dried in Grotok, but I think we but all nothing know else what that is. Really. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's so, true. Yeah. I'm going to play. All right. right. Mm-hmm. Another fair tag round. Sylvan Library. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So I have no idea how to sequence the cards here. Like there, there's a lot going on. You play a lot of cards, and the question is how to do that correctly. I think I'm gonna start with opt. Mm -hmm. Put a counter here. Um, sure, I'm going to take that and then I'm going to go with uh, Portent myself, mm -hmm. put in my country here, um, interesting. So. Um, I guess I'm gonna shuffle those, and then I'm gonna attack for three. Yeah, so I'm just seventeen. Uh -huh. And then I'll pass the turn. And I'm gonna draw a card in your in your. So you want to miss keep. the trigger? I'll try not to. And in the meanwhile, you can you can, you can go ahead and mm -hmm. resolve the Sylvan Library trigger. So I'm gonna draw a card here. Four. Okay, all right. I like that. Mm -hmm. 
three mana. Oh, that is a good card. Um, and how many cards do you have? Five. Five. Okay. Um, how about days? Pay. Uh -huh. How about foil? Okay. So you say it's four for one. No, well, I mean, I my drive gets bigger. Okay. That doesn't count. Oh, that no, no, not in my world. <laughs> yeah, it's a four for one. Um, gonna pitch that thing mage. Can I do that? Yeah. All right. It can be any card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It used right. to be another spirit. Yeah, well, that would be cool. Go. All right. So now I'm just gonna try to kill you in two swings, I guess. Let's because see. otherwise, otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, nope. Draw a card. No land. I, who needs lands? So so six, six. Seven, seven. Go. Nice. <laughs> you have the seal of removal, don't you? Of course. <laughs> that's um. that's not great. Hmm. Yeah, that foil might have been way too aggressive. I wanted to, to one of the reasons why I did it was that I wanted to make the clock a lot shorter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't think, and also like you, the days was basically a dead card because you would play around it. You could afford to play around yeah, so it. I was, I was trying to play yeah. around it as much as I could mm -hmm. in the draw. Yeah, oh, that's fine. But the, the thing is that I could, Protect the dryad with the foil. I could try to do that, but with seal of removal, you would just draw a bunch of cards with the like with cheap uh, enchantments. So you discard land. Another frantic search. That's fine. It's card disadvantage. I'm I'm all right with that. Yes, I'm minus aware. two cards with with the two frantic search. No basking root voila there. I'm aware of it. And you tell people not to play enlightened tutors. Because it's card disadvantage, and then you go frantic search, frantic search. Nice. So still four cards in your hand. Lighting this, but I'll play Grass. So I have to pay one if I want to attack. No, I have to pay two. two. That's more than I, I play seal of removal. That's fine. I'll go. Okay, okay. So you're basically buying yourself some time, and I'm trying Hopefully. to hit uh, some lands, which I don't. So I'm just gonna. I can't attack into no. the Elephant no. Grass. I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, I'll just cycle end of turn. Cloud of yeah, that sounds that sounds reasonable. You're digging for like Argothian Enchantress. Yes. Uh -uh. So I'll pay here for uh -huh. Elephant That's Grass. That's fine. And Library. Mm -hmm. Draw one card. Mm -hmm. Playing it safe. Argothian Enchantress. Okay, we got there. Yeah, that's fine. Seal so removal. Yeah, okay, the game's Draw over. Card. Yeah, the game is over. And you can go. Okay, go. It's very unorthodox game to <laughs> play, but uh, yeah. hopefully we'll be able to. Manage. You wanna you wanna play play it with a Serac Sanctum that gives. Oh yes, I do because um, Serac Sanctum mm -hmm. in this deck is really colorless mana. Oh okay. It doesn't okay. really do yeah. that much. Okay. Else. So like my plan is now that you're gonna blank on enchantments for like. Forever. The, my, my decisions in the game is like, where do I scoop? Then I, I play a Living now. Wish. Uh -huh, that's and I play another Argothin Enchantress. Sounds alright. And you can go. Uh -huh. Okay, well, there's an island. Um, hmm. Does it do anything? I can force you to pop one of the seals, which doesn't really even do it do anything um 
Because when I played the seal, uh, seal of removal and elephant grass, I didn't have any other enchantment, mm -hmm. or I had any enchantress effect. But I felt if you don't have a land and you didn't have a land, mm. uh, I can stay longer with the seal of removal. Yeah, yeah and sure. Elephant that makes grass sense. can buy me yeah. quite a lot of turns, and yeah. And if you have to pay, if you commit to pay for elephant grass mm. and I bounce, you can only recast it turn later. I think and you won't have, yeah. And you, yeah. So. Mm. Did did you do consider not playing the seal of removal because even if I pay, I only attack for six and you're at one, so you can still wait for Could enchantress. Be. Yes, but I, then like fire ices kill you, I guess. Probably, mm. and I felt that you can have something else. You can maybe have gush or yeah, sure. Well, sure. you didn't have uh, yeah, you didn't have land. But, I'm just yeah. gonna pay an attack. Of course, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll so I'll just it. just to kill one of your seals and I'll pass. So now I'll pay three mana with, mm -hmm. with this. Yeah. Uh, hello, seven library. Yeah. It's a beautiful card. <laughs> I love this card. It is a very nice card, yeah. Trade Roots. Wait, I have to read that. <laughs> I remember that that used to cost like five, seven hundred crowns. Yeah, yeah. Like 30 euros. Like 30 euros, yeah. yeah. It's one okay, of the most expensive okay, cards okay. with the Rishad and Pot from the set. Okay, so I guess you're not, not gonna break. I'll draw two. Mm -hmm. and then, I, then I will just pass. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And it's nice that I have time. I can. Yeah, I, I have. I just add mana, which is enough for me to to keep okay. Sarasanctum in play. Mm. If you will have to pay for Elephant Grass next turn, this you is probably still very it. small. Yeah, yeah, it's probably still very sure. small. I don't know. Do you have to do it? I will just discard land and draw a card. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. On tap. So in the library. I like. On one hand, I want to scoop. On the other hand, I want to show you know the viewership. Um, how this deck actually works? I'm just mm -hmm. gonna move the cards a little so that uh, we can see them. Oh, There's this. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay for, pay the, for the, the, the elephant grass. grass. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes to four. So I'll play. I play. Wild growth. Sounds fine. On basic land, I just like to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just not on the sanctum. Generally, it's a good idea to do it like that. Then I get blue and green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now play exploration. So I have sure. blue, blue floating. Draw, uh -huh. two. Draw two. Then I play this. Mm -hmm. Da -da -da. Cloud of fairies. No, I have this. Oh, okay. So I'll draw, draw two. two. Yeah, yeah. Then no I get mana green mana meaning okay play travas ruin wait uh, oh that's you haven't played your second land no, 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 with my the second land, yes and then i play okay. another elephant grass draw two uh sure yes. do you still have a green mana okay yes. okay yes, okay i do some people use the, like dices i i, I think like it, that. if it gets more complicated i'm ready to do that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but now i don't think it's uh, so necessary i don't have any mana for mm -hmm. you can okay. use this if you want i draw two cards i'm fine yeah, yeah. yeah and end of turn, I'll just discard. Mm -hmm. And it's your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to scoop here. Yes. But let me just yes. explain it's to just, the viewers just, how, do, how do you win from here? Very sim very, uh, very simply, I will... Um, I will play, say... I don't even have... Yeah. I will... Next turn, I'll just, sh I'll just show you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, my, my, my hand, I dislocated my shoulder, so... Yeah, I can do it for you if you should. No, it's, it's okay, okay, it's okay, yeah. it doesn't hurt. So next turn you... So next turn I will have a look, I will right? pay. Yeah. Then I will look on these three, I'll get any enchantment, yeah. like that. Then I just play, like, casually a frantic search. Yeah. Get some get mana floating, mana, yeah. untap this. It's important, this will give me the color colorless for the words of wind. Yeah. And then I can maybe just play third Argothian, it doesn't really matter. And then I play... Wild, wild growth, mm -hmm. and I'll have three draw triggers on the stack. Mm -hmm. What I will do, I'll say return after playing my extra lands, whatever doesn't doesn't matter. I'll return exploration. Mm -hmm. I'll return this elephant grass, say, and well, another elephant grass. Mm -hmm. you have to return I'm gonna three permanents, yeah, yeah, three which permanents. is everything yeah, you yeah. had. Uh huh. Sure, sure. Then I have living wish. Uh huh. 
for Yavimaya. Okay. I'll just keep okay. one line. In. I, I, and I, that's like a two turn clock, right? That's like, like a two one, turn two, clock. Three, four, five, I don't six, have to seven. overdo it. Yeah, 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 right, right. I was wondering if there's a, uh, um, a danger that you would deck yourself, but I think with Never. this one you just. With this one? Uh, this oh, because it. instead of. Instead. Okay, okay, so even okay, if you okay, have no it. cards in, in any draw, uh, yeah. means you will replace it. Okay, okay, sweet. All right, so that was game one. Let's go to sideboards. So here's our sideboard. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure if it's correct. I generally don't like exploration so much because it doesn't develop your mana. Actually, you need that land. So it, the card on its own is good when you're going off. But I think here the, the match will be grindy. It will be slow. It will be maybe a little bit similar like the first game where I overcame, you know, some odds. I mm -hmm. just didn't, uh, I just didn't, uh, it was not that I would like crush Adam. Uh, I, it was it was a long way and then frantic search it's on three mana honestly on play I maybe would not take out days being Adam I'm not, not so sure mm. but normally I would probably take it it's also card disadvantage and we'll be exchanging probably quite a lot uh, two for one I will always try to play enchantress and something mm -hmm. and then you will answer enchantress so I will have a plus one card hopefully sort of mm -hmm. and I think I bring uh, this is my new like tech that I have planes and uh, for um, sorts to plowshares uh, because I think it can really slow down Adam's clock, mm -hmm. and then if he counters some of my things, destroy them with his enchant, I can replenish and like not like win on the spot, but I think if this resolves and I get let's say three four cards back, mm -hmm. it's uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm probably going to yeah yeah, yeah. yeah sure. so that's 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 my. Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm bringing in Disenchants. I'm not even 100% sure that they're like super great, but uh, they can get rid of Enchanter's Presence, and I think that's that's just way too good not to not to uh, put them there. Uh, and all these five cards are against Arcadian Enchantress, where they uh, sidestep the, the Shroud and they, they let you kill uh, the Enchantress um, uh, without having to target it. As for boarding cards out, these five I think are clear. Uh, Shadow Mage Infiltrator, just because it's a meme card that that Ondra put there. And, like uh, to be honest, against the Enchantress deck, it doesn't even attack through Elephant Grass, and the card advantage, like it's way too slow. I think uh, Fire Eyes doesn't kill any of your creatures, so I think that's that's pretty clear. Argument for Fire Eyes would be that you can tap my uh, my land that has enchantments on it. That's true. And, That's true. And especially early game, I often have just like two lands. Mm. So mm. that can mm. be good. That would be argument for like mm. keeping it, but probably not enough. Yeah. The reason why I'm boarding out Daisies is that Tomasz thinks I'm going to keep them in the deck and he's going to play around them. Uh, it might work slightly worse since we're doing this before the actual games, but at least if Tomasz plays something straight into a daze and I don't have it, I can blame him for, you know, like using information that he normally wouldn't have. And uh, so it creates more interesting uh, mind games here. Yes, I think it's you have to think whether you can afford to play around days because sometimes people play around days and they mm. can't afford it and then they yeah, lose yeah, anyway, yeah. whether true. your opponent has it or not. So you have to identify that. And since uh, Adam didn't really have a pressure early, mm. I could afford, I could do that. And I put my worst card into days. Mm. You know, that was the yeah. two mana enchantment, and then I just uh, yeah. could easily play around days. And yeah. All right, so let, let's see how it works. All right, game two. I'm on the play. Tomas Mulligan to six, and I'm gonna start with a flooded strand and go. Mm -hmm. Turn fetch for an island. And I'm gonna play opt at the end of uh, mm -hmm. your turn. Okay, it's okay. it. Oof. Um, sure, I'm gonna draw that and I'll keep playing and I'm gonna go island, go. Mm -hmm. Mono blue control. All right. Mm -hmm. Something that I can daze. Sylvan library. Um, you wanna counter spell that? Mm -hmm. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Oof. Go. Mm -hmm. Wall of Blossoms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is one of my favorite cards. Yeah, mine too. Of all time. It's amazing. 
Your turn. Okay. Uh, Mox Diamond. Discarding City of Brass. Mm -hmm. Island. Um. Hmm. I guess I want to play this first so that mm -hmm. if you have Argo the Enchantress plus enchantment, yes. I can I can that's, get it out. That's correct. So the the card is Human Shaman. Human. I think it's Druid. It's Human, human Druid. druid. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no overlap with any other cards, so I'm just gonna say. Do I play humans? I do. I'm gonna just say Druid then. Mm -hmm. Is the Avimaya uh, the? Yeah, I think I think the Druid that grows is not a Druid. So yeah, Druid go. But I have my like mages as humans. Two cards. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, I'll try to play this. I'm gonna have response. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Of course. Play, return to lands, draw two cards. Um, sure. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm -hmm. um, play one life. Portent. Mm -hmm. And this is not uh, this is not a uh, druid, right? I hope I certainly hope so. I think if it is, people will let me know in the comments, <laughs> and <laughs> we'll never find out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is this is definitely keepable. Um, I'm gonna put it like this. Uh, have I played the land? No. Yes, uh, you did. I did. You, I played this. Yes, I think so. Uh, okay. Okay. You had four, and now you have, you had like four mana, I think. With one more island, and now you okay. have three. All right, then no, I don't think so because I think I I had I played this and I had two two lands untapped. I think. Okay. Fine. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I'm just gonna play land, and I'm gonna pass the turn and draw a card in mm -hmm. our upkeep. So play wild girl. Yeah, that's fine. Card. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not fine, but what can I do? Mm -hmm. I'll have blue floating. Mm, sounds good. So that's two. So two, two white, yes. Yes. Uh, so one green. Yes. I have, no, I won't have blue floating. I will have uh, green, green floating. floating. Exactly. Sounds fine. And it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Draw a card. Um, off patch. Go to 17. Mm. I'm going to play. Uh, Psych attack, put a counter here, mm -hmm. and swing. A block. Mm -hmm. I'll play Gush. In response, also Splashers. Mm, the Dried? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I gain three. three life. This one goes away. And I'm gonna draw two cards. Yes. Um, all right. I'll play Portent. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Oof, interesting. Mm. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep that. And I'll pass the turn to you and draw a card. Mm -hmm. So I'll get 
mm, blue and green. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe just uh -huh. blue. this is green. Yes. So I'll have one, one green. Mm -hmm. This looks remotely like blue. Okay. Okay. So, blue. <laughs> so blue green. And then I'll get three white. Three white. Mm -hmm. That will be one white. Okay. And I play silver move. That is not great. Um, and oof, wait, wait, wait. And there's trigger on the stack. Here. Yeah, 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 I'm thinking about the seal of removal. It's pretty hard to kill you with a psychotalk when you have seal of removal, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, sure, yeah. Really I'll just pay, and we both return a, 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 a permanent. Uh -huh, okay. I'll return one of growth. Yeah. So. I play wild growth on first. Mm -hmm. Oh, pay, okay. Pay one. Mm. We both return. Uh, um, we both return permanent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Then I turn this. Mm -hmm. So I have double green. Mm -hmm. I think I used it or. Yes, I used it already, so mm -hmm. I have double green. Yeah. I play all of blossoms. Mm -hmm. When it comes into play, trigger on the stack. Mm -hmm. Bounce that, return permanent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and return this. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Okay, okay. I think I'm locked out of the game, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I have a bunch of lands. I have the counter spell, but they, I drew them pre like um, later when when you already had the enchantress. You probably have to now discard something. Um, yeah, 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 right, 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 right. Yeah, well, the thing is, it doesn't really do anything. Yes. Like, Basically, all of blossoms, mm. which I only play as a one of, but uh, it works for three mana. Mm. You can play it and bounce it, play it and bounce it. Mm -hmm, if, mm -hmm. Sometimes it happens that you have a lot of mana. You don't need this. It's kind of yeah, a funny yeah, thing. Right, right, you right. just have that and you can play it, bounce it. So. That's pretty sweet. That's and pretty you, sweet. at that point, you had very few permanents. Permanent, yeah, because of all the gushes. And, yeah, of course, normally it doesn't always true. work. So you play that. Next yeah, turn, yeah. I drew Argothin Enchantress. Such tough luck, yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> but yeah, this is like the Words of Wind, uh, Wall of Blossoms combo, I didn't know, I gotta say. And mm -hmm. it's it's really sweet. And also, if you have an enchantress, you can just keep bouncing wild growth. Mm -hmm. And yeah, all right, all right. And seal of removal is nice. That of course it's protection mainly mm. against exactly dreadnought and uh, psychotalk and so on. Yeah. But it can you can block big thing and bounce it mm -hmm, and get mm -hmm. another card out mm -hmm. of it. So okay, that's okay. that's. Uh, Nice All right, so it's 2-0 uh, for the green-blue Enchantress deck. And uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. You can follow us on our uh, social media. Um, and we're going to see you next time with another matchup. Yes, thank you for the game. Yeah, thanks.